Hey everybody, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about click that subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about Pixar's new movie, Onward. How did you- I don't know, it just started! Hang on! Dad? So Onward is rated PG. It is an hour and 42 minutes long and release date is March the 6th. So this is the first of two movies that Pixar will be coming out with this year. The second one is Soul. So I think I may be one of like very few people who were actually looking forward to Onward. Most of the people are actually looking forward to Soul. And quite honestly, I was more excited for this one than I was for, for Soul. If you were one of the few like me who were looking forward to this movie, like this video. I mean, from the previews, I thought it looked pretty darn good. I mean, what's not to like about it? It's mythical creatures, you guys. And yes, we're like in modern times. They forgot about what they were back in the past because they wanted an easier life and they forgot the magic. They forgot, you know, the elves forgot the magic, the pixies forgot how to fly the centaurs forgot how to run you know everybody just got kind of got lazy they got you know with, with the phones with technology and everything mind you i may have a little soft spot for this because i do love me some mythical creatures a little fun fact about me i don't have a single tattoo on my body because i'm like afraid of needles but in, in my imaginary mind in my like distant whatever I have a bunch of like mythical creature tattoos on me like I know exactly what mythical creature I want where I want it how I want it to look you know I'm like one day but I mean that day's never gonna come now one thing that I do love about Pixar is that they are very original unlike Disney that's literally always remaking everything and it's just like come on like come on with the original content um you need to get on Pixar's level what's coming up this year Mulan what is it a remake so I just feel like he's close with that, right? I still love me some Disney movies, you guys. So don't don't think I'm like hating or talking crap about Disney because I'm not because I love me. I grew up on my Disney princesses. Compared to other Pixar movies, Onward, I don't feel like, you know, it doesn't belong up here on top with like, you know, Toy Story or The Incredibles, um, Coco. Like it's not on that level. So Onward is about two elf brothers who embark on a quest to try to, um, find this crystal to bring their dad fully back because they were only able to conjure half of him up because like I said earlier they don't do magic anymore they don't have anybody to teach them so it's like a loss like trait but like Chris Pratt's character which is the older brother is kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons well like their version of Dungeons and Dragons like and he knows everything about it he's all like look everything that happens in this um in this game all the uh, books that they had were all based on real life deals that were going on so he knows what he's talking about you have tom holland which is played by ian and barley is chris pratt he is somebody who just doesn't believe he is very scared he is the opposite of what barley is he's the little brother he's somebody who never met his father um and that's going to be the only spoiler that i'm going to give you guys but it's not technically a spoiler as far as the dad situation goes because that's the whole concept of the the movie which is in the trailers you guys so that's not a spoiler a little less dangerous type of quest in a way because see now we are in more modern day time one thing that i will tell you because i really really like that part were the little pixies um they were like biker pixies you guys i mean how cute is that They're badass pixies because they would kick my ass for calling them cute now i feel like if you are definitely a single parent you should t uh take your kids to see this movie because i think they're really gonna enjoy it regardless you know i do recommend for you to see this movie but there is just like a little something extra i feel that may go on with it for the single parents um out there i feel like it, you may be a little bit more well for the kids right they may be a little bit more touch and be able to relate to these characters um that you know they don't have a parent you know in this case it's the dad that's no longer with them i cried in this movie of course like there were happy tears you guys and it wasn't like ugly girl crying but i did shed a couple tears so with that said, I'm going to actually give this movie a large popcorn rating. I haven't given one of those in a minute. I truly, really enjoyed this movie. If you've seen Onward, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did you cry? Did your kids love it? Did your kids just did not like it? If you've seen all the Pixar movies, where again do you rank this movie? 
a little other deal that I'm going to go ahead and mention here because I'm not going to do a video for it. But in case you are not aware of, there was some news that kind of came out today. Due to the coronavirus, they have delayed the release date for the new uh, James Bond movie. So No Time to Die is no longer coming out in April. They have pushed it all the way to the end of the year in November. So now it's kind of like, are they going to be doing this to a lot of other blockbuster movies? Like what's going to happen to like Fast 9? It's one that I'm actually looking forward to. I do really love the franchise. So I hope they don't push that one at the end of the year. What about Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman's coming out in the summer, isn't it? But like Fast uh, 9 is coming out in um, May. So that's just like a month after. So I mean, I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, this whole epidemic with the coronavirus. Could it really be for the safety or is it just because of the box office and the money that I'm sure they'll be losing because the people from uh, China will not be able to go to the theater to watch the movies? I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys thought about that. Um, I just wanted to kind of sneak that into this video, seeing that that is just something that happened today. Um, actually, well, when I post this video, it was something that happened yesterday <laughs> um, or whenever you're watching this video. So with that said, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.